I am officially starting the 5,000 year generation challenge in BitLife. And if any of you don't know what that is, you start off with one life and you try to live a familial generation that lasts 5,000 thousand years. There are many different ways to approach this. Some people might do this as a royal, where they just want to see how much money they can get in the game. Some people might just want to simply get to 5,000 years and just spam the age button. But me, I'm doing this as another challenge. So if you take a look here, this is a list of careers in BitLife. And my goal is to live a life with a different career every single time. My goal is to check off every single career in BitLife. As you can see, we have 14 checked off right now because a lot a lot of the times I do videos based on job packs and stuff and medical doctors, but we are starting fresh. We're just gonna pretend like I haven't done the 14 already. But this 5,000 year generational challenge is going to be insane. And this is a challenge because if you have 153 careers and for each life is a different career and you try to times that by living, let's say 100 years of life, that is over 15,000 years. That is not going to cut it. So we're going to have to find a way that in some lives we are able to do multiple careers because we have to cut that in three. Come become a patron and join the Patreon community where you can get exclusive videos that will not be posted onto YouTube and unlock early access to my new podcast, Lost and Loud. So we are going to start a new life and I do want to have us be born in the United States and I'm going to keep everything else as random. So we're starting off with Donald Wang. We are male from Huntington, United States. Our special talent is in fact crime. And this is our appearance and these are our attributes. And we are going to start the first life of our 5,000 year generation. I was born a male in Huntington, United States and I was a planned pregnancy. First things first, I'm gonna decide what career I even wanna do. Maybe these beginning lives are the ones that I can knock off a couple. And the thing is, is a rule I'm making is we are not allowed to surrender. We have to die of old age even if we want to pass it down to our kids early and stuff we're not allowed sorry <laughs> like what are multiple jobs i could do if i get a degree in like business so we could just do finance and then we could do banking business analysis all these different jobs we could definitely probably do so maybe we'll go to school for finance see where we go with that and i am gonna have a master document on my computer of the careers i do achieve <laughs> just in case so i don't forget family vacation at disney world i want to go to disney world now now that you have a stepmother you're wondering how how to address her. What will you call her? Well, if you look at her face over here, she seems very mean. So, um, your grace. Oh my gosh, and now we have a stepfather. We will call him dude. So this is actually me like living these lives. So I'm not trying to do a challenge or anything. So I do want to interact with people and like make friends and have a relationship, see where that goes. So Cleveland Cockford, let's befriend him. Amazing. We have cramps in our fingers lately. To further complicate things, you have already thrown up in your mouth. Please don't be what I think it is. Kidney stones. Now I'm also realizing kidney stones is awful because it takes a very long time to heal. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, I guess that's it. Vice President of the Audiovisual Club, thank you. And yes, we will do our driver's test. We didn't get a car. Mom, dad, are you guys rich? Oh, they got money. Well, we've officially graduated, so we're going to apply to university for finance. See, actually, is finance the right thing? I know finance, you could be a banker. I got it. I found a thing on, on I found a thread on Reddit. I'm gonna make sure I save this. So with a finance degree, you can be an accountant, banker, business analyst, financial advisor, financial analyst, internal auditor, operations analyst, and a stockbroker. So that you can do with English finance or information degree. Okay, so is there anything there? I don't want to risk it because I don't want to screw this up. There we go. Finance. Apply to university. Scholarship? No. Nope mommy she agreed okay well who cares about the car then if she paid for our college that's fine we're not gonna be that picky no they're all trash never mind just study harder maybe join a fraternity so we get the jobs right away that's actually a good idea let's do delta g rush this frat house they rejected me <laughs> There's no way. My God, what if I go to the gym, bro, and like get my looks up? Get I have my friend Cleveland. That's all that matters. Let's go to a concert with Cleveland. Sam Smith, period. Your best friend Cleveland just handed you a pirated copy of the movie Toy Story, saying you can keep it if you want. Well, um, no, because I don't want to get traumatized by Toy Story 3. Don't take it. Sorry, Dusty. Okay, we've graduated. Time to look for a job. So there are so many different careers we can do. I want to see if I can do one that doesn't... I wish there was a way to wipe only 
only certain parts of the things on BitLife. Because sometimes I want to completely wipe my achievements and try and like, maybe this is a life I can try and do all the achievements. That's another video. That's too much to keep track of. So have I been a stockbroker or anything? No. So I do not have any finance jobs, so that is fine. So let's do that. Let's start with stockbroker. What or who inspires you? Bob Ross's buttery voice. So in order to get the career achievement, you have to spend at least 20 years in it. So I'm going to make sure I remember that because it is possible we could do multiple careers, baby. So we are going to put in the maximum amount of hours, a reasonable amount. I don't want us to unalive and work harder every single year. And let's just see where this takes us. While having coffee with your best friend Cleveland, he asks if you think he should start saving his money. Give him good advice. Okay, so you know what I should think? Right now, we're just like a young guy who just graduated university and we're going to get our first starter apartment. I think that's the plan. So there's a studio, apply for mortgage. We got a studio and now we're going to like renovate it if we can afford it because I kind of just bought it. So let's put in 7,000. That's a good investment. And do I want to rent it? Mm, not really. Don't really have the urge to do that. Our niece died of whooping cough. Goodness, attend her funeral. Okay, we got promoted, period. <laughs> Almost have one career. Let's keep hanging out with our best friend because I do not want him to unfriend us. He has a cool mustache going on if you take a look at that. He is a cabin crew supervisor at Stuart Butkus Airlines. Good for you, Cleveland. <laughs> While relaxing at a pool party with friends, you notice that your best friend Cleveland's fiance, fiance, Mavis, keeps looking at you suggestively while sucking a popsicle. Report her to Cleveland. Okay, he appreciated it. That's awkward. Let's just spend time with him to see if he feels better. <laughs> oh, there's a love interest at the gym. Her name is Autumn. She is a senior mail carrier at the city of Huntington. She has good looks. She's smart. So I'm trying to think of our future kids, okay? Ask her out on a date. She doesn't need money. I got it, Mr. Donald Wang. Even though you're virgin, your girlfriend, Autumn, wants to take it to the next level. Let's do it. We're gonna marry her anyways. She's gonna be our first love. Let's make love again, have a conversation. And now that she's 28 and I'm 31, I'm going to propose and I'm gonna get a juicy ring. Well, as juicy it can be. A $70,000 diamond ring. If a man ever spent 70,000 on a diamond ring for me, I'd be like, what are you doing with your finances? Like why? Even if he was a millionaire or something, I'd be like, but why? It's not like I'm gonna walk around wearing a real diamond anyways because someone's gonna steal it we're gonna have to get just a cheaper ring to wear for every day anyways i don't know i oh my god an art gallery that's cute that's cute she accepted we're going to a winery in the vatican Okay, select plan. We don't need a prenup because we are married for life. Since we're married, I gotta get rid of the bachelor studio. I'm no longer a single guy. You know, I got a wife, I got a family I gotta prepare for. So we are going to put it on the market. We're going to sell it, but I gotta sell it. I'm gonna buy us a nice house. Now let's get a nice little house. Ooh, a craftsman's home, like your little suburban life. This one right here, we will, no, it's not good condition. This one's better, apply for mortgage. Yay, she said she loves it. Oh wait, is she on birth control? Ask her to stop taking it. She agreed. Okay, make love. Have a little baby. Yay. <laughs> My wife suggests that the two of you buy a Subaru that is currently for sale. That's not the one, honey. Let's get a nice little SUV. Maybe a little Range Rover. This is a Rolls Royce Phantom. A new sedan. We are going to buy this Rolls Royce. Not my wife being mad. I literally got it for her. Your wife, Autumn, is arguing with you about the Rolls Royce Phantom you just bought. She says it doesn't match your basic personality. She says the basic bitch. What are you going to do about it? My mom is going through it. She has diabetes and dementia. Poor girl. Okay, we're gonna vaccinate our daughter. Our stepfather passed away. Okay, anyways, <laughs> moving on. Your coworker Paisley started a rumor that you see dead people. Start a rumor about her. <laughs> You went into the bathroom and took all of the toilet paper while your coworker Paisley was using the toilet. That is... <laughs> she charged me. Lawsuit. Lawsuit. What? You're kidding. There's no one to sue after I got charged? After she lacerated my back and popped my chin? Really? <gasps> She's pregnant again. We have our baby Brooklyn. Oh my god, we're a girl dad. We're fully a girl dad. <gasps> Career collected, stockbroker, that is one. Oh, our niece passed away, oof. Repair the Rolls Royce. Okay, so since I got the stockbroker, so now I'm just double checking, we can also do banker, business analyst, stuff like that. So now we're going to retire from this career and we're going to start a new job. So not a stockbroker, financial advisor. Which of these Harry Potter characters do you relate to the most? Harry Potter. If only it had Hermione, Hermione Granger. We're in debt. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> well, at work, you were asked to take in a professional development courses in finance, stocks and bonds, because we did that for a whole ass career. We're in debt. Where did I go wrong? They're going to take my house away. What do I do? I'm going to freaking lose my house. Okay, um, fix the Rolls Royce later. We're going to sell the Rolls Royce. Is my wife not bringing in any money? What's going on? I know I said that I was going to do the whole money thing for us. But I changed my mind. I'm a financial advisor and uh, pe people should not be taking my advice. Car shopping? Does she not know our financial situation? Our mother passed away. Okay. Hate to say this, but like, yes. <laughs> we have to donate her to science because we don't have the money. We also got promoted. We got an inheritance of 220. So we're good. We're good financially. Kind of. Our money's going up though. That's good. You came home early and found your wife having an orgy in your front room. Can I sue her? How dare you divorce her? The audacity. I'm actually not that familiar with the 5,000 generation challenge. If it's supposed to be just in general, 5,000 years, are you supposed to switch to your kid's life? Like in the middle of your life once they turn 18? Or are you supposed to like have a kid right at the end of the year life and then switch to them? I I'm pretty sure the challenge with this is trying to do it in the least amount of lives possible. So I think we try and have a kid like really late in life. And I guess then we'll do like 5,000 generations of boys potentially. So I am gonna go on the Mediterranean diet. I cannot believe I forgot that. Like that is my thing because we do have to live. So Mediterranean will boost our happiness and I'll wait to get remarried. We no longer have depression, yay. <laughs> if only it was that easy. <laughs> this sucks. Late niece, late father, late stepfather, late niece, late stepmother and late mother but at least we have a good relationship with our kids so maybe it was not smart of me to have kids so early <laughs> kind of defeats the whole purpose of this i should keep them till the end but i love my kids stepbrother died literally everybody <gasps> cleveland hates me cleveland went gray we're gonna compliment him we gotta we gotta get back together to being besties let's watch some pewdiepie party with him come on cleveland Okay, financial advisor career is collected. Now, can I do one more? The only thing about trying again is they might not hire me. <laughs> financial advisor. So I could do banker, accountant, all those things. Business analyst, we can do that. Let's see if they'll hire us. Yay, where did you see yourself in five years? Moving on up in the world. We got the one faster than the last time too. So let's do 48 hours. 48 hours, the magic number, baby, and work harder. My best friend Cleveland started a rumor about me that I was switched at birth but after figuring out the truth 20 years later you decided that you never wanted to meet your actual parents cleveland i thought we were bros how could you stepbrother died by lightning literally everybody we know is dead we just have two step siblings left cleveland passed away well not gonna say it but karma <laughs> okay we're slowly approaching those like dangerous years in age but i am going to have a kid probably at 85 90. i also want to check on our mortgage how's that doing is the house paid off yet oh it is perfect no more mortgage we're gonna sell it then and get a better house <laughs> insist so let's try and get a better house because then hopefully that'll go to our kid right the one we uh continue the life as so let's try this craftsman's home it's in perfect condition buy with cash i just feel like playing blackjack half our money half 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 16 are you kidding that's like the worst freaking one to get it's gonna be 18. <laughs> there's no way okay again 15. 20 stand 12 hit me bro 17 stand Ooh. 21 21 baby last one stand okay we made a profit that's all that matters oh my gosh <laughs> my stepbrother died everybody's dying see with this life we're living a very simple life we're not doing anything too fancy we're not trying to emigrate and marry a royal that, that's coming <laughs> yes Business analyst, we got it. I got three careers in one life. Oh my gosh, if I work till I'm 102. Damn, I'm gonna try it. If I could do four in one life, that's gonna be insane. Let's go to the doctor. We have migraines, it's fine. Let's retire. Okay, <laughs> we have three pensions. What else is there, internal auditor? <gasps> we can do that, please. Oh my gosh, we're gonna collect four. I have to live over 100. Do you have any questions for us? Can you envision me working here, bestie? While eating dinner, your daughter Brooklyn starts choking on a banana heimlich maneuver we saved her oh my god art gallery just like our first wife so let's plan the wedding in hawaii make her sign a prenup she agreed period keep mr wang and she kept her last name that's fine so now see if she's on birth control good she's not and now i have the baby life with derek i forgot about that ex 
That's also pregnant. That's a big oof. I'm so sorry. Well, I'm giving everything to Derek. I'm so sorry. This is like a Jon Snow moment. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, Derek has pneumonia. This cannot happen. Uh-uh. See, I have to think of what we're doing in Derek's life, okay? Because I can select his attributes, like give him good willpower. Because once we switch to him, there's no choosing this stuff. And maybe we could do like, I have to prepare the next life. Maybe we can do, what jobs are there? We could do military for him or we could finish the finance section since I'm gonna die after this uh, auditor one. We could do like the banker, accountant, financial uh, advisor was an analyst, I can't remember. Operations analyst, so really just smarts, but we can work on smarts. Maybe we could do sports. Okay, so we'll save that. We got it, internal auditor. We freaking got it. So that is four careers in one life. Okay, listen, we were a stockbroker, financial advisor, business analyst, and internal auditor. Now we can just die peacefully. Oh, <laughs> not us dying the year after. Oh my gosh. Aged 103, net worth was 5 million, residents, Huntington, United States. Career was internal auditor at death. We did three other ones. Education, university, four children, two grandchildren, three lovers. Donald Wang passed away at the ripe old age of 103. His services were attended by his four loving children and his two grandchildren. His wife, Ashley, couldn't be bothered to attend his services. <laughs> Donald went to university, earning a degree in finance. Donald got a job as an internal auditor and put in 81 years with the Opus Electronics. Friends say that becoming vice president of the audiovisual club was one of the pinnacles of his life. So now let's continue as our child, as Mr. Derek. He's in middle school. Why are we in debt? Why are we in debt? Okay. Um, my late father, Donald Dwang, died of complications from old age. He left behind a craftsman home, zero items of clothing, and cash assets that were settled with his spouse. I don't get why we were in debt. Did the spouse get half? But I did everything to Derek. We weren't even in debt. I'm confused. But I'm gonna age another year just to be safe. Our mother's concerned. Well, I don't care. Let's do this. Um, five. We're in so much debt. <laughs> Why am I in debt? Part two will be on Patreon. Um, I'm stopping this now. That is my first attempt at the 5,000 generation challenge. The next episodes will all be on Patreon. So go make sure you join that. And I will see you guys on YouTube at an update at a thousand years. Thank you for watching.